We are all facing challenging times in our lives. One way or the other, no matter where you are in the world, we are all facing some sort of difficulties in our lives. And particularly in the past couple of years or so, things have ramped up and the evil and the evildoers have been rolling out their plans and their agenda as fast and as, as pushy as possible. But we have to continue in prayer in season and out of season. We have to be praying earnestly and we have to be on our knees and continue praying, not getting discouraged by what we see, but walk by faith. The righteous shall live by faith, not by sight. So continue in prayer, be encouraged in the Lord, delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. This is his promise. Your prayers have been effective. Our prayers have been effective. Do not get discouraged. Continue in your prayers. I made a challenge a few months ago and asked people to stop and in fact boycott the mainstream media whatever that may be in your country in your area boycott them and I'm not saying people have listened to me and that many uh, people have made a ripple effect but however that was a prophecy and uh, it is coming to pass imagine that now the government ministers in this country are preparing to scrap the BBC television license fee <laughs> this is what they are saying this is not what I say this is what they are saying this is what comes out of the horse's mouth ministers are preparing to scrap the BBC television license fee as fewer and fewer people think it's worth paying for imagine that this is what they're saying could you even imagine this sentence being said about a decade ago even five years ago even two years ago it's unthinkable they're saying it they're admitting people think it's not worth it you know why because they're lying you know why because their lies and their schemes have been exposed and they're being more and more exposed why because of your prayers so be encouraged continue in prayer and this is just the tip of the iceberg it's the beginning of their exposure I said in my other videos that uh, exposure is happening throughout the world in various countries big major uh, role players in the world and uh, I proved it by evidence showing you their own news their own words not my own but theirs and showed you uh, the, the screens of the news from different channels different media sources just to show you that the exposure is happening and that was a month a few months ago now it's getting worse and worse for them and better for us so continue in prayer do not get discouraged be encouraged the prophecies will come to pass and the evil shall not prevail the righteous will prevail continue in prayer continue seeking the face of the Lord and continue doing what God has put you in that position to do whatever your position is if you are in a governmental uh, sector working in education sector uh, like ours and I quit because of 
uh, various things that happened just because I wanted to serve the Lord mainly and if you're in the police and um, various departments of it if you're in any industry wherever you are God has put you you have to believe that you have to believe that God has put you there for a reason it's not to pay your bills it's not for you uh, to meet your needs and to put food on the table for your family that is part of it but that main idea is that God has put you there for a reason you know every workplace I've been every single workplace I have worked at everybody uh, found out because of what I said and how I behaved how I treated them how I acted they found out from me directly from my own words that I am a practicing Christian do your colleagues know that you're a practicing Christian or you're just a secret Christian because of the peer pressure because you're worried that they might just um, boycott you and put you aside not associate with you not socialize with you not mix you in their communities and look at you differently and think weird of you do not do that the Lord says if you're ashamed of me in this world I will be ashamed of you on the judgment day the Lord Jesus Christ is not something to be ashamed of The blood of Jesus Christ is not something to be ashamed of. The blood of Jesus Christ on you, the Holy Spirit on you, all that is something to be proud of, to make your backbone stronger, and give you backing, give you strength. I can do all things through the Lord who can strengthen me. We're facing difficult times still each one of us in a different way but we will prevail this is a promise this is the promise of the Lord no weapon formed against you shall prosper prophesy those words prophesy Ezekiel prophesy to those dry bones prophesy as he commanded you not as you wish prophesy as he commanded you say the words as if your mouth is God's mouthpiece to say and declare his words not yours say exactly as he is declared in his holy Bible in his word and they will come to pass believe it believe and do not doubt you receive and believe that you already have received what you believe for this was just a short video just to encourage you i don't want to come every day and show screens of uh, news different pieces of news here and there and become a news agent uh, i don't want to say look uh, the exposure is happening here the exposure is happening in Australia in New Zealand in Canada in America in, in England and other parts of the world I don't want to do that because uh, I, don't, I don't want to show you those kind of things because uh, some people don't like to see screens of news and don't even they, they've already um, shut them off and they don't want to even see a glance of it but uh, I want to encourage you that your prayers are working the prophecies are coming to pass stronger is he who is in me than he who is in the world believe that because that is the word of God the author 
and the finisher of our faith. Not just anybody. I plead with you to continue in prayers. We are going through very, very critical times. The evil and the evildoers know this and they are using that window of opportunity that they have to roll out every evil agenda that they can. And we have to resist. There is a lot of resistance. You're not alone. Just because you don't see it on the media doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Because they don't tell you. They don't want you to know that there are thousands upon thousands of people protesting in London or big cities in England or other parts of the world. They don't want you to know that. Think about it this way. That imagine there is no internet, there is no television. Go back 50 years and think, what did people do then? Live that way. Pray that way. Have your spiritual relationship with your creator, your God, that way. I don't mean to shut off everything. I don't mean to uh, live in the dark. I don't mean that you can still have your uh, entertainment, yes, healthy, holy entertainment. You can still have your television. You can still watch uh, the programs that you choose and you filter for your own family, for your own sake. But don't think that because the media is not telling you there are protests, there are resistance, huge resistance against their agenda, it doesn't exist. It does. You can take whatever they say with a pinch of salt, but believe this and know this, that what they're telling you is not the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's far from it. It's the opposite. Know this and believe it, that if you think they're evil and if you are against them, there are millions upon millions of people, same as you, thinking the same as you and wanting the same things as you want. Some have the opportunity to get to the streets and protest some don't but because you don't have that or you're not there you don't see them nobody is showing you that doesn't mean they don't exist they do exist and they are winning we the people are winning because of the Lord the Lord is with us if he is with us if God is with us, who can be against us? May God bless you. Stay strong. Continue in prayer. Earnestly seek his face. Go on your knees. Repent of your sins. And ask for forgiveness of all your sins. Known or unknown to you. Whatever job you're doing. Or if you're not doing any work. Seek his face. And boycott the media and continue in doing that because we are winning. We are winning. God bless you. See you again soon. Goodbye.